new organization um, that had its launch back at the Artful Dodger two years ago? Yeah. Almost two years ago. Uh, Josh is a parent and a teacher. Um, I know him also as a filmmaker, uh, but he's here to talk about the Wascana Silver Claw. Thank you very much, Carla. I just have a, a couple of pictures I wanted to show you guys. Uh, we got our first panels up last week, and I'm so pumped. I need to share with people. So, sorry. I have some pictures. Society has much to learn from. This is especially true as we seek reconciliation, not just with the Father, but with Mother Earth as well. So, thank you for your presentation. Um, so, I, I'm just going to go through my slides here. Um, that's our boring mission statement, but anyways, you probably see it on our website. Hopefully you see that. Sorry, our board members are here. It's exciting. It's an exciting <laughs> mission statement. Um, so this is, this is, uh, yeah, that's the view of my second floor, my house, last week. So, and those guys were working in last week on a roof. Yeah, they, they do that. And Will Inginton is here from Skyfire, and he was, it was his organization that helped uh, put this up. So I, I, we're, my wife and I are very excited about this, if it's not evident already. Um, so this is, uh, I'm gonna talk about what we're doing and what we're all about, but uh, first some things on how we got started. So um, my, my wife, uh, well, I'm usually referred to as her husband, Morgan Reed, she used to be, but now she's Morgan Campbell. Um, but she, uh, she, we went to Al Gore's film in 2017, An Inconvenient Sequel, some of you may have seen it. And uh, we had thought about putting solar panels up on our house probably four or five years ago, but I'm guessing like a lot of people, it, the cost was a bit of a barrier. And, and so we, we didn't do it at that point. Um, but as you probably learned from Stephen Hall, it, it's not a barrier anymore. Um, but this was a few years ago. And then we went to this film and we got really excited about solar panels again. And uh, Morgan says to me, well, why don't we ask some other people, you know, if they want to do this. We could do like a bulk buy and we could even save more. And I thought, well, that's a great idea. And so we, uh, then I thought, well, maybe there's people already looking into this. So I Googled, uh, sorry, internet search, uh, Regina Solar Co-op, and I came up with this story with Susan Burley, who uh, was trying to start this co-op, and she had a meeting, and, and um, I was like, great. So I contacted her, and I said, what's happened to that? She said, well, we need to get things going again. And so I just thought I'd create a Facebook event and we expected like 30 people to show up at the Artful Dodger. And there was 120 people there. And it was standing room only and it was really exciting. And, and of course, it wouldn't be a great event if you don't ask Stephen Hall to speak at the event as well. And he did a fantastic job, uh, as he did tonight, just of talking about uh, why it makes sense, right? So a lot of people got excited about that and got on board. And from there, we, it, it continued. And we, uh, I'm just gonna, a couple, just give you guys some background. So we had our first meeting October 2017. Um, November 2017, we had our first leadership meeting. This is so grassroots, I and mean, we were meeting in curling rinks and stuff. Gives you an idea of, uh, you know, and, and some of the people are here who are, who are on our board now, and it's just really exciting what's happened with our organization. Um, I was reluctant to do this, but I guess since Brian Miley's here, we'll talk about how great Saskatoon Solar Co-op was in helping us with, uh, they, they definitely blazed the trail in terms of, of uh, solar co-ops, and, and they have a vision to establish multiple solar co-ops, and, and we borrowed so much of their stuff with permission. And, um, and that, they, we give, we pay homage to them for, for helping us with, uh, the, uh, the co-op model that we established. And so um, then from November to June 2018, we had multiple leadership meetings, and uh, you know some of those people are here in the crowd um, that were, had attended those meetings and, and helped us come up with our exciting mission. And uh, 
our name. And so it, it was from the start, our, I, it was a community endeavor, and that's what's really exciting about it. Um, then we, uh, we actually had our first annual general meeting here at Westminster United, and they had a huge drum band. Uh, and it was kind of exciting. Uh, that didn't happen tonight, but uh, um, it, there was drums going throughout our AGM, but it was, it was, it was really exciting. We had a, a packed uh, downstairs, and, and uh, we were looking to raise money for our first large-scale installation project. So um, we raised $91,000 in a month, and that was just with we the Eagle public. That was just with people who heard about our organization. Pretty exciting. I now have permission to say that we are working with Conexus uh, for our first large-scale installation, which was going to be on their Elbert Street North branch, and uh, so that's pretty exciting. Um, so that all took place right around the summertime of 2018. Um, in August 2018, we're, we're, we're unique from Saskatoon in that we have another branch besides a traditional co-op model where you, you, you buy a share and then you get in on a large scale installation. Uh, we have a, I guess it came from Morgan, my wife's first comment about we should buy in groups. And so we have actually a group buy that we organize in addition to our large scale group, which allows people who want solar panels in their own private residences to get in on the game. So, and it's just through a bulk buy -in. and we're anticipating about 20% uh, savings with that group buy -in. And if you add that to the 20% SAS Power app offers, well, now it's, it's, uh, it's even better, say, but it, it's, it's a good savings. So, um, fall 2018, we, we connected with Connexus. October 2018 was a great vote here in Regina for uh, the city to become 100% renewable by 2050, so we're looking to possibly partner with the city as well for some more projects. Um, I, I got a quick show on that, sorry, that's my house again. Um, so, um, this is the building on Albert Street North where our first installation is gonna go up, and so that's, that's pretty exciting. Uh, 115 panels we're gonna have on that roof, and uh, so yeah, get ready for that. If you do banking with Conexus, um, it'll be pretty smoking in that building. Well, smoking, sky fire smoking, right? Yeah. Um, so, and looking into the future, uh, we definitely take the lead from Saskatoon uh, Solar Co-op, the Saskatchewan Environmental Society Solar Co-op. Uh, there's a couple of quick examples. I just wanted to give you a taste of, of what they have done, because they've done some amazing stuff, and, and since this is a general introduction to solar co-ops as well. Um, this was a co-op, uh, they own 40 of 92 solar panels at the Saskatoon Landfill Gas Generation Station, a uh, small power station that uses methane gas from Saskatoon Landfill to produce electricity, and they produced 17,000 kilowatt hours of electricity during their first year, and reduced greenhouse gas emissions by 10.2 tons. And of course, we just had a methane gas, uh, landfill gas system come up here in Regina, and I was at city council saying, I want a picture with them in our solar co-op of us doing the same thing here, but we'll see what happens. Uh, that's yet to be done. Um, this is a really interesting project as well. This is a, a a joint undertaking that SES is on with Saskatchewan Environmental Society, uh, sorry, Radiance Co-Housing, and several other partners. 126 panel installation on this super efficient co-housing condominium development. And the thing that's really interesting about this is uh, it's it's a an example of virtual net metering, and that shows a lot of promise. It's something that's not in existence right now. Um, virtual net metering is producing power that can be used at different locations other than the one that uh, where it's at when the panels are up. This holds great promise for our province with renewable energy yeah. potential like yeah. ours. So the energy that's being produced at that uh, Radiance co-housing unit is then being used in five electric cars in a different neighborhood to power them. So it just shows the potential that this these kind of ideas could have. Um, I just want to just uh, to wrap up here a couple of potential issues, and I think these are important things to think about. 
Um, it seems our co-op are only accessible to people of higher socioeconomic status, and that's something you really need to think about as well. Um, are we going to leave low-income earners on the hook for uh, the grid if more and more people go solar? So how do we address that? Um, states like California have put uh, carbon taxes uh, into organizations that are installing solar panels in low-income neighborhoods. There's solar loans and lease programs. Um, I was looking at the Renew Saskatchewan uh, plan, and you know, much like the retrofit program, you could have uh, a solar panel installation program where you would pay more on your power bill, uh, you know, every month, and you would that would be handled by SAS Power. So um, there, there's potential there as well, and, and I'm just, I, I mean, Stephen Hall and Jared and other people would know a lot more about that, but there's lots of interesting ideas that way as well. Um, uh, finally, I just wanted to talk about co-ops in general. Uh, we're really excited and there's lots of energy in our group. We probably meet way too often, yeah. someone complains. Um, but there's lots of good energy in our group and it just shows, you know, there, there's such a, um, I don't know, like a genetic memory or history of co-ops here. And I, I think that, that could, there could be a revival of that. And that could be really exciting, not just in the renewable energy sector, but otherwise. And so um, that's something we need to look at. I mean, especially with an organization that had a ministry of cooperatives at one time. And uh, I think cooperatives present, um, when we look at the environment and the renewable future, they, they present a lot of interesting ideas that way. And uh, the last thing I'll say is just, I mean, if we can do it, we we don't we didn't have key people that Saskatoon Solar Club did on their board. We're, we're still seeking some board members with good knowledge um, and passion in this area, but we were just a group of community people who, who were like, how does this even work? I don't even understand this. Stephen, explain it to me. But we're, this, anyone can do this. Right? It's just people who are passionate and excited about seeing this happen and, and of course having the right contacts with the organization like Saskatoon Solar Co-op. So um, I just want to share that with you um, and we're looking at our next group buy as uh, soon as next month. So if you're interested in getting panels put on your own house, uh, we have a table in the back. Uh, Donna and Paul are back there and they can talk to you about signing up and we're looking at another large scale installation as soon as this summer. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing, so pretty, we're, we're excited, anyways. Thank you. Sure.